Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu and today I will uh, show you how to create a sales order in NetSuite. To be able to do this, you have to download the UiPath Team NetSuite activity. And after you download the UiPath Team NetSuite activity, under NetSuite, uh, UiPath Team NetSuite here, you'll find a lot of activities. Today we'll talk about sales order and sales order items. To add a sales order, you will use an add sales order. And you'll see here that um, there is a lot of thing to configure. Again, in case like um, in case of the Salesforce connector, you will have a lot of examples with the parameters that you need to complete. Let's see. So if we take a look on NetSuite, these are the, uh, the things that you need to install in NetSuite. And first you need to put a transaction date. So if you want to put a transaction date, you, you'll search here for transaction date transaction date, you double click on transaction and then you'll put a value with transaction date. You can see here that there is also something that say transaction date say, uh, specified. You don't need to complete these values because the system will be able to complete automatically this type of values. They are true. Yep. Good. Next. For the, um, um, for the next tip, you need to select an entity. I will jump on this one and we'll come back. And let's see what else we need to put. We need to put a memo here. If you want to put a memo, this is a normal field. So I will go here and search for a memo. And this is my field. And I already have completed here with memo test video. The next field that I have to complete is deal type. And here start to be tricky. You can see that here it's a custom field. yeah. And this custom field, you will search it here on the system. So if I will search here, you will see that I have uh, deal type, yeah? You know, search for deal, you see that I have deal type field, yeah? Now, this field has some values here, yeah? If I will hit right on this one, you will see that the system will be able to explore your NetSuite system and provide you the list of the values, yeah? Now, after he provides you the list of the values, you can see that here, I will uh, go back. So the system is able to tell me if I want to have a deal type and I want to put a BPO, I have to put one. I have for end user put two and so on. Here on the um, on the value, you can put one, two, three, four, five, or you can put directly the value. So the system will be able to know if you put end user, you will go and match and select two. For example, on the next one, he prefer to put the value yeah, for the region. And so, so for all the custom body, the feature is you go here, you go on the, uh, uh, let's see what else. It's uh, this one, for example, Salesforce Opportunity. Salesforce Opportunity is custom body five and so on. So you go, you see the, uh, the field name, search it here, and then provide value that uh, uh, you see it in the combo box or provide directly the value from here. Good. There are some fields. If we come back to UiPath Studio, You'll see that so we have date and so on. But there are some fields where you have variables. And let's understand what is this, uh, this field with variables. So um, department, it's a list. It's a list of variables. It's a list of, um, uh, of choose. You have class, you have location. The, the, this connector, it's used for the business people. Yeah, To be able here, the system want to provide him an internal ID. But um, you as a business people, you know the name, yeah? So in my case, I know that the name of the location will be Romania. So I'll put here Romania. And this procedure will provide me the ID of the location, yeah? Again, I select here the location. I can get the department. I can get the class in the same way. So in this way, I will get very fast the ID for each element. But remember, first time we talk about entity. Entity is an, a customer that we'll have, yeah? So to find this entity, what I have, I will have the name of the entity, yeah? So I will drag and drop and, and get customer list. On this get customer list, I will search for the company name. And I will say on the company name contains UAPAT team. And this will return me a result, yeah? So on the result, I will have an entity. If I run it, I will have an entity and an internal ID. From this result, 
I will take, so this, this one will, will return a data table, yeah? I can configure here if I want variables, okay, I can put variables. This result will take a data table, and on this data table, I will search the, the first, uh, the, the second element from the row, yeah? So the second element from the row will be my internal ID. Good, but when you create an, um, uh, uh, a sales order, you will select an item on the sales order. And this item, so each cell sort of has to have at least one item. So the system gives you the possibility to add multiple cell order items before a cell order. Yeah? So when I create a cell order item, I have to provide an internal ID for the item in quantity, amount, list, and other, other variables that you provide very, uh, very simple. But for the internal ID, of the item, there is another procedure to find this internal ID. Think about that. You'll have the name of the item. So you'll use the get list item. You'll search for the display name. Let's say name, display name. Display name should contain flexi. Again, I will have a result. And with this result, I want to display the internal ID and uh, the, uh, the item name. ID and item name. And uh, um, from this data table, I will choose to put the internal ID here. Okay. So these are the this is the procedure. Let's see how this is working and what will be the result. So after you run the robot, you will see that here inside of the uh, NetSuite, you will see the new uh, the new source order with um, test video memo and all the videos. I will not enter the details to, to give you more uh, detail from from our system. So remember, this is the way how you approach a sales order. For any other details, go and uh, follow me on the YouTube and you'll see different videos there about uh, how to work with uh, NetSuite, configure the application and do other use cases in NetSuite. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.